Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Web Design Basics. In this episode, we are going to learn how to make links. Um, so a very important part of a website is that you can create text that will link to other pages. If you have a website with a bunch of pages, uh, you would want to provide links to all the different pages so your users could navigate around. So I'm going to show you how to add links to a to an HTML page. Uh, the way that we do this is we're going to use a new kind of tag and it is called the A tag. So the A tag is what we use when we want to worry about uh, links. And what we're going to do here is with the A tag, we're going to give it, there's one important attribute that it needs. Uh, if you watched the last episode where we talked about attributes, you'll remember that an attribute is just a piece of data that goes along with it. A, we can use to specify a link, but we need to say where does the link go. And to do that, we write href. And then we do equals, and in double quotes, uh, let's just have ours go to... Um, Let's just, we could do Google or we'll just say Apple.com. I don't know. I like Apple a lot. So we're creating uh, this. We're using the A tag and we're specifying the attribute that the um, href or the link URL is Apple.com. So within this A tag, between the opening and the closing, right in here, we can actually write the text that we want to show up. So if I write click me, that text will show up um, sort of uh, as a link. So if we go ahead and open this up in Safari, we will see, give it a second to load that here it says click me it obviously looks like a link and if I hover over it it turns my mouse into a hand and when I click on it it takes me to apple.com and I can take a look at that so that's pretty cool one important thing is this does um, for apple.com but I could also say for index.html and we can say recursion just basically when I click on this link, it takes me back to the same page. So this is a link, and I didn't specify like example.com slash index.html. By just writing index.html, it knows that it wants the index.html file here. And obviously this link just takes you to the same page. It's pretty much the equivalent of refreshing the page. But obviously if we had more than one page, we would want to use links to get people around. One other useful thing is um, we can put a title here, which could be more useful in a link than in a you know header because now if I hover over this, it will say, "Click me to reload the current page." I should probably put a period there. Um, so therefore, we can tell exactly what the link does if it's not already explained here. And again, the link just doesn't really do anything. So that's all. I just wanted to show you how to add links. There's a couple more things to cover. Mainly, I can think of images off the top of my head and a few other HTML basics. And then we're going to get into some back-end stuff and also Bootstrap because I love Bootstrap. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. And if you like this video, click the like button. I'll see you guys soon with some more websites and coding. Bye for now.